just at dockside. Just picked up the battery pods. Just about miraculously fitted in the trailer. Bought another crane scale. Now this one does work. As you can see, it's got this absolutely comical, um, I don't know what you call that, radio control. I haven't got a battery for that, but that's absolute quality. So, what I want to do is just test um how much these weigh and then compare them to my cad drawings right off the ground that says 73.5 all right let's make a note of that right i've got to decide now what i'm going to do um how i'm going to do the do the battery pods i'm going to do the ends and the electrical penetrators but first of all let's just see how much um they weigh in comparison so i think we it was 73.5 and i this is just the default steel and it's given it a mass of well 73.6 so it's pretty it's pretty damned accurate uh, anyway right so there's just uh that's the the, the battery pod then i put a, a cap on the end so that's uh and that's actually the, the dimension taken from the actual one then I thought right well we're gonna to have to have a tray so first one is to sort of your straightforward Kittredge style tray I don't really like that it was difficult to get in and out scraped in and out when I did the one on SCADA I could put some wheels on it which did make it easier whether a is going to use those or not I don't know but um, anyway so then I thought, what about if we put an inner thing like something like this, you know, like this is your sort of plastic um, drain pipe. If I could get the right size, that might make a nice interior and make it all insulated. So I kind of like the idea of that. Batteries in um, and then have some uh, some holes at the top so I can access everything. So I could pull it out like that and... Uh, get access to it thought that would be all right um, what did I do I made a sort of a bracket thing yet yeah, so there's some sort of bracket because it would need to stop it from spinning around inside the original tube so there'd be, have to be something like that and then I kind of thought well there could be a, uh, a fill you know if, it, if this whole thing comes out in and out like that um, and then there could actually be a, a fill of some sort um, you know probably not that high but could fill it with epoxy or I don't know, concrete or something, depending on how much weight I need inside these pods. So that's got a poss possibility, I think. Uh, then you know, what I need to do now is think about the, the cap as well, which is the sort of more awkward bit. Um, now, the Kittredge cap that is shown on the original K350, he does, he does it like this. And this, I think, has got potential. So there's a stainless steel ring welded into the end cap, and then you clad this surface here with uh, stainless steel machine it all flat and then it just sort of slots in like that and then there's a then there's a standard penetrator on there 
which allows a, a bolt to pass through to, to screw it together. I didn't do that on Jody B, but basically because I couldn't do it. I, I did it, tw I tried it twice and I just couldn't get this cladding thing right. I cladded it and then when I machined it, the cladding wasn't deep enough and I ended up machining uh, some of the cladding off or machining down to the bare metal. So in the end, I gave up and did my own idea so i don't know i'm going to look at the k350 plans and have another rethink of that because that could be an option but then there's no heavy stiffener there so um that is a sort of a problem and also that it does require this to be very tightly machined and i don't know i'm not keen on it um then there's this is how i did it on jdb which is just with bolts and flange now the trouble with this is that these flanges have to be really quite big and uh, it's it's difficult actually to machine these as well with the interrupted cuts with those with those holes in a real nuisance so I think what what I'll do is this the state forward like I did on Skadok now on Skadok I went, I went to a real palaver to make these sort of bracket things but I don't think there was any need I think literally just some little ears like this would be perfectly fine um, just welded straight on m10 bolts four bang job done um so i think that will probably be what i'm going to do to be honest and then i thought about the electrical penetrators now i could either use the straightforward ones like you get on uh, on the k350 and bring the power through into the hull but i would like was trying to keep the, the all of the, the electrical components in the battery pods all the relays and motor controls and whatnot and then just pass them through with, with blue globe glands so there's my three three potential cap choices um but i'm pretty sure that i'm going to go for that one put the new new clamps on so I think you can just about see the, the gauge I'm just going to zero that in I'm watching the red marker which is 0 0.01 of a mil I'm just going to go across just goes 